Right now, there are more people on Facebook than there were on the planet 200 years ago. Humanity's greatest desire is to belong and connect. And now we see each other. We hear each other. Grandpa, I love you. I love you. Why, why want to take a picture? We share what we love, and it reminds us what we all have in common. Dug out alive and well after seven and a half days. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. Walk and walk. So now technically your device is on. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, it's exciting. And this connection is changing the way the world works. Governments are trying to keep up. Uh, no, we can't test the freedom. And older generations are concerned. Many people are very concerned about tomorrow. So they could get worse next year. The game has new rules. The next 27 minutes are an experiment. But in order for it to work, you have to pay attention. Every single person in the world started this way. He didn't choose where or when he was born. But because he's here, he matters. Yeah, we've been waiting for you. You made it. My name is Jason Russell, and this is my son, Gavin. He loves jumping on the trampoline, being a ninja, and dancing. What are you doing? Big snow angel. How do you do that? You do this. And just like his dad, he likes being in movies. Action. making movies. Daddy, watch this. I think you got the video. But he was born into a pretty complicated world. And as a dad, I want him to grow up in a better world than I did. And because of the course of events in my life, I see a way to get there. It has become my job. Who are you to end a war? I'm here to tell you, who are you not to? Hey, Gavin, what's up? Years before Gavin was born, the course of my life was changed entirely by another boy. And who's this right here? Jacob. Who's Jacob? Jacob is our friend in Africa. It's been almost 10 years since Jacob and I became friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, they're nice. Cool. These are different than sharks. But when my friends and I first met him in Uganda, in Central Africa, it was in very different circumstances. He was running for his life. Uh, you go to school here. Yes. Yes, that's how you know English so well. I know. Yeah. How many nights have you stayed here? Hello. You are making our work very, very difficult. You stop that now. The night I first met Jacob, he told me what he and other children in northern Uganda were living through. We were disabled. When they raised us again, then they, they will kill us. My brother tried to escape. Then they killed using panga. They cut his neck. 
Did you see it? I saw. We fear that if we sleep at our home, we can be abducted by the rebels. Because our home is far away from town. They will catch us, then they will take us there in the bush. So come here to save our life. One night in America, it'd be on the cover of Newsweek. What is it that you want to be when you grow up? For me, I wanted to be lawyer, but no money. I don't have money to pay mm. my school fees so that I learn and then I be lawyer. Mm. Yeah. After spending a few weeks with Jacob, he told me something I would never forget. So it is better when you kill us. And if, if possible, you can kill us, you kill us. For us, we don't want now to stay. Because you we don't are, want to stay on Earth. We are only to no one taking care of us. We are not going to school. So You would rather we... die than stay on Earth. Yes. Our, now, even now. Even now. How is, are we going to stay our, in our future? He told me more about his brother and what he would say to him if he were still alive. I love you, but now I miss you. So it is better when we meet. We are going, even if we are not going to meet, but we, are, we, we may meet in heaven, you see? So it is better. I will not talk much. I will start something. Because if I saw my brother once again, I don't. Hmm? <laughs> Everything in my heart told me to do something. And so I made him a promise. And we are also going to do everything that we can to stop them. Yes. Do you hear my words? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Hmm? Yes. We are. We're going to stop them. We're going to stop them. I made that promise to Jacob, not knowing what it would mean, but now I do. Over the past nine years, I have fought to fulfill it, and the fight has led me here, to this movie you're watching. Because that promise is not just about Jacob, or me, it's also about you. And this year, 2012, is the year that we can finally fulfill it. And if we succeed, we change the course of human history. But time is running out. To level with you, this movie expires on December 31st, 2012. And its only purpose is to stop the rebel group, the LRA, and their leader, Joseph Coney. And I'm about to tell you exactly how we're going to do it. So the thing is, my son Gavin has never, I've never really explained to him what I do. He knows I work in Africa, but he doesn't know what the war's about or who Joseph Coney is. So I'm gonna explain it to him for the first time today. That's what we're doing. So Gav, are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you some questions okay. and you can just look at me and ask and answer the questions to me. I'm going to be What do I do for a job? I we stop the bad guys from being me. Who are the bad guys? Um. Do you know Star where the Star Wars people? Star Wars people. Yeah. Those are the bad guys. Yeah. Can I tell you the bad guy's name? Yeah. This is the this is the guy Joseph Coney. Is the bad guy? Yeah. Who's this? Jacob. Joseph Coney. He has um, an army, okay? 
And what he does is he takes children from their parents and he gives them a gun to shoot and he makes them shoot and kill other people. But they're not going to do what he says because they're nice guys, right? Yeah, they don't want to do what he says, but he forces them to do bad things. What do you think about that? Sad. I couldn't explain to Gavin the details of what Joseph Coney really does. Because the truth is, Coney abducts kids just like Gavin. For 26 years, Coney has been kidnapping children into his rebel group, the LRA. turning the girls into sex slaves, and the boys into child soldiers. He makes them mutilate people's faces, and he forces them to kill their own parents. And this is not just a few children. It's been over 30,000 of them. And Jacob was one of those children. As if Coney's crimes aren't bad enough, he is not fighting for any cause, but only to maintain his power. He is not supported by anyone, and he has repeatedly used peace talks to rearm and murder again and again. Connie, different times, proposed peace and then just regain strength and attack. This is the head prosecutor for the International Criminal Court. In 2002, when the court was started, their job was to find and demand the arrest of the world's worst criminals. Although there are a lot of warlords, murderers, and dictators in the world, the perversity of Connie's crimes made him first on the court's list. Connie is the first guy indicted by the SEC. But the crime basically are these, are crimes against humanity and war crimes committed against the civilian population, including murder, sexual slavery, rapes, abductions. We need to plan how to arrest Connie. Start to plan and start to be serious. In fact, the only way to stop Connie is showing him, guy, we're going to arrest you. What do you think we should do about it? We should stop him. The criminal here is Connie. Stop him and then solve all the problems. We should stop who? Him. It's obvious that Connie should be stopped. The problem is 99% of the planet doesn't know who he is. If they knew, Connie would have been stopped long ago. Let the world, let the international community take justice to him there. Follow him wherever he is. First, to rescue our children. And secondly, to deliver, deliver the justice. We are determined to cooperate with any friend of Uganda to ensure that this mindless killing and slaughter is ended. When my friends and I came home from Uganda, we thought that if the government knew, they would do something to stop him. But everyone in Washington we talked to said, there is no way the United States will ever get involved in a conflict where our national security or financial interests aren't at stake. No administration, Republican, Democrat, Obama, Bush, Clinton, doesn't matter, would do enough because it's simply not an important enough issue on the radar screen of American foreign policy. Since the government said it was impossible, we didn't know what else to do but tell everyone we could about Jacob and the Invisible Children. Let's show this movie to as many people as possible in such a way that we can't be ignored. And when we did, people were shocked, and their awareness turned into action. We started something, a community. I have friends that have been living in this conflict their entire life. Fight for that, because that is what is going to change this world, and that is what defines us. We got creative, and we got loud. It's not over! It's not over! It's not over! And as the LRA began to move 